Praise the Lord, saints. We do honor our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, for being here. Thank and praise God for all God's people, our bishop, first lady. Thank and praise God all the elders, their wives, my wife, daughter. Just thank and praise God for just God being good. You know, often the, the slogan is, Jesus is the reason for the season. But Jesus is our reason every day because he gave us salvation. The scripture I'm going to go, I'm going to deal with this, just a, a couple of passages of scripture. And I'm going to try to fuse these two together. And I'm going to come from Acts, the eighth chapter, and the eighth verse, a very familiar passage of scripture. And the scripture reads thus, and there was great joy in this city, praise God. And it goes on to say that when Philip went down to Samaria, praise God, he preached Christ, amen, unto them. And the people with one, the people with one accord gave heed unto those things with Philip spake. You know, praise God, often as a man or woman, whatever your calling is, when you minister to people, you often think that the word of God that you're preaching is void. But God got somebody that's listening. Everybody don't have the itching ears for the wrong spirit, praise God. Everybody have eyes that they can't see what God is trying to do. But those people desire something, praise God. And it says, and Philip spake, hearing and seeing the miracles. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And the people with one accord gave heed unto those things which Philip spake, hearing and seeing the miracles which he did. For unclean spirits crying out with a loud voice came out of many that was possessed with them. And many taken with palsies that were lame were healed. And there was great joy in the city, praise God. So what the scripture is saying here, if you just let me paraphrase this, when God showed up, he showed out, praise God, that even the evil spirits, the demonic possessed was cast out of people, praise God. And it says the, the, the pauses, these were people that were paralyzed, praise God. Can you imagine coming into a service, praise God, and God heal you, praise God. You're paralyzed, and then you cripple, praise God. And the scripture said that they were healed, praise God. And it was great joy, it was great jubilation, because the spirit of God had moved by this mighty man of God, praise God, that the sick was healed, praise God. God is a man that he can't lie. He fulfilled all the promises of his word. For the scripture said, all the promises of God are yea and amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. But as, praise God, as God begin to move, praise God, you always have what you call a counterfeit spirit, praise God. You always have a demonic presence, praise God, to try to dissuade the people. I don't want to go too much, but I'm going to paraphrase a little bit about Simon or Sorcerer, praise God. And this man, praise God, used magic to amaze people now wait a minute aren't these the same people that saw how God moved but here this man used magic praise God on these people of Samaria praise God and it goes on to say hallelujah then not only did he use magic hallelujah hallelujah but he also swayed people he persuaded them. He said, man, I got power too, praise God. But I'm going to tell you something, saints. It ain't nothing like the real thing, praise God. It's a dangerous thing to fool with God. It's a dangerous thing to fall in the hands of an angry God, praise God. Hallelujah. And it goes on to say, praise God, that, hallelujah, that Simon, praise God. He, he hallelujah. It says, Simon, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me slow down a little bit. Wait just one minute here. Let me slow down. It says Simon of Sasha used magic, praise God, to sway to sway people and to amaze them, praise God. And like I say, he boasted that he was some great, someone great, praise God. But praise God. But when Philip began to preach the goodness, praise God, or the news of the kingdom of God, praise God, Philip pent from their wicked ways, praise God, and they begin to receive the blessings of God. Hallelujah, praise God. Hallelujah. And it says, those people, praise God, what I was amazing by that, when Philip was preaching, you got to look at the, the context. Those people were bewitched, praise God. What's that saying? They were bamboozled. They were hoodwinked, praise God. But it's something about the name of Jesus, praise God. Hallelujah. And then, like I said, I'm going to paraphrase a little bit about this, about Simon. But it, it goes on to say that even Simon got baptized. But there's something the scripture didn't, didn't say. Simon never repented. 
It don't say Simon repented, nor did he confess his sins, praise God. But what Simon was trying to do, praise God, I'm paraphrasing, he was trying to see what kind of power Philip had, praise God. He began to inquire, well, praise God, if I get baptized, perhaps I can get this same power. Then he found out, praise God, by the laying of hands, praise God, not only were people healed, but people received the Holy Ghost. He began to say, give it to me that I may charge people, in other words, and I may give it to who I desire. But, the, but he got rebuked, praise God. They say, you have no part in this matter of the ministry, praise God. Hallelujah, praise God. And it's something about the word of God, praise God. The word of God will draw you or drive you away. Now, it drew him away, drew him away from his sin, but it drew him away from repentance. But he did not, did he ever have the complete manifestation, praise God. I'm just saying when I begin to read this, praise God, you got a lot of people that get amazed by the acts of God, praise God, but they don't want to know his ways, praise God. He said, be ye holy, for I am holy. Holy, praise God. We got all these counterfeit preachers and prophets and apostles and all this stuff that say, I got gifts, praise God. But the scripture said, gifts and callings are not unto repentance. You may have a gift of healing, praise God. You may have a gift of a tongue, but it's not the Holy Ghost, praise God. And when people get in trouble, they begin to charge people, praise God. Now notice what I was saying, praise God. One point, praise God, we could, there was great joy, praise God, for healing, praise God. And when Simon began to look and see, well, why is this Philip like this? Well, let me tell you why Philip was like this. And you go, I love these passages of scripture, just by finish. And it goes back, Acts 1 and 6, praise God. Hallelujah. 1 and 6, 1 and 8, praise God. And I like that from passage of scripture because Jesus command the disciples to wait in Jerusalem for endure to power from on high in other words they were tearing they was waiting praise God and he began to tell them but you shall receive power after the Holy Ghost shall come upon you praise God and he said you should be witness unto me in Jerusalem in Judea and Samaria wait a minute did he just say that so the word had to be fulfilled those people in Samaria had to be witness to it God just revealed that to me, praise God, until the uttermost part of the earth. But praise God, what I like about it, praise God, and this is something that, that I've been wrestling with my spirit, preachers, and that is, it's amazing, praise God, hallelujah, that when they said prophet so-and-so is coming, uh, the healer is coming, you can't get a seat in the church, praise God. People are running. They say, heal my mama, heal my sick, heal my child, praise God. But they are so happy about being healed. But you should be happy about that great salvation, praise God. Because the Bible said that you're going to receive power. And I like what he said that on the day of Pentecost, they was all on one accord in one place, praise God. Mm. Hallelujah, praise God. They was all on one accord in one place, praise God. Hallelujah, praise God. And I like what he's saying, praise God. And then it says, and suddenly there came a sound of a rushing mighty wind, praise God. And it filled the house. It was like cloven tongues of fire. This person was speaking. That person was just like popcorn. So what I'm saying, saints, is that it's amazing how we get excited about some things in, 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 in the ministry or the gospel, but we can't get excited about salvation. Hallelujah, praise God. Because there's a scripture that says, it says your prophecies shall cease, praise God. Hallelujah. But what I'm trying to say, saints, is that we ought to be excited that we heard the word of God preached in the fullness, that we didn't have the same heart as Simon, but that we repented, we confessed our faults, we waited for the fulfillment of the promise. And then if you go back to the eighth chapter, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> and they begin to say, praise God, that many of them received the Holy Ghost. And they begin to say, can any man forbid them water, praise God? Hallelujah, praise God. Hallelujah. And I know, praise God, let me tell you something just about finish. Praise God. Hallelujah. When God has done something for you, praise God. Hallelujah. You just try not to tell everybody, praise God. But it's just like this. Some get the quickening in your spirit, praise God. They begin to look on you. I was reading about Moses, praise God. 
<laughs> and how Moses went on the mountain and they begin to see the glow of God on Moses. So when you receive the Holy Ghost, there's a glow on you. There's a present. You don't have to tell nobody what God has done for you because you see that it's a difference about you. My attitude is different. My walk is different. My talk is different. And then I realize some praise God. When I try to keep it to myself, praise God. And let me tell you, somebody said, what done happened to you, praise God? Hallelujah, praise God. And I receive the word. I receive the Holy Ghost, praise God. So what I'm trying to say, saints, is that we should be joy. We should have joy, not only for God healing, but we should have joy that our names are written in the Lamb Book of Life, praise God. Hallelujah. And I'm just about finished. A couple more things. I told you I wasn't going to be long. In Psalms 18, 18 and 15. And it says, blessed is the people that know the joyful sound that they shall walk, O Lord, in the light of thy countenance. In thy name shall they rejoice all the day and in thy righteousness shall be exalted. For thou art the glory of their strength and in their favor our horn shall be exalted. For the Lord is our defense. The Holy One of Israel is our king, praise God. May God add a blessing and hearing and doing to his word. Like I told you, saints, praise God. This great joy, this great joy of salvation, this great joy of healing only came by the manifestation of this man called Jesus, praise God. And I pray that everyone have a safe and prosperous new year and have a merry Christmas. In Jesus' name, thank God. Amen.